Meanwhile, in the mountains, North Carolina leaders say all the roads should be considered closed. Several counties are experiencing flooding from what was Helene. During a briefing this afternoon, Governor Roy Cooper calls the storm one of the worst to hit the western part of the state. With the rain that they had already been experiencing before Helene's arrival, this is one of the worst storms in modern history for parts of western North Carolina. The end of the rain. Now the main concern is the mountains tonight and the flooding dangers there. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce is in the Blowing Rock area with the damage that he is seeing. Yeah, a lot of the concern for people that live in Blowing Rock is the impacts that the water is going to have as it continues to trickle down, as well as this wind as that continues to pick up and the ground becomes just saturated. And that saturation and the heavy wind is making the roads impassable, which has also made it near impossible for a lot of drivers, including us, to get to Boone. Friday morning, before we could even make it to the outskirts of Blowing Rock, we were already seeing the hurricane's destruction. This tree toppled over three lanes of Blowing Rock Boulevard with more snap trees in the background. Just a mile from that, another one sitting across the street from a business with part of its roof nearly gone. If the debris field wasn't already reason enough to avoid the roads, the thick fog from the mountain was, with some drivers going a snail's pace for safety. Once we got into Blowing Rock, just six miles from Boone, our journey took a turn. It wasn't just trees blocking the road, it was deep water and even a mudslide on the back roads. Just north of the App Ski Resort, uh, and this is what we've been running into. We got uh, what appears to be a small mudslide that has uh, overtaken a lot of this road right here, blocking it off. We have water running down into people's uh, yards because there are homes down there. Uh, yeah, I've never seen it flooding this bad. Scott Albert was among those who risked his life to try and remove some of that debris, not just to help people he'd never meet, but to make sure his wife and eight month old at home could have a way to get out if it came to it. Our lines out, um, you know, just a significant amount of flooding and we know that the flooding is gonna keep on rising because of the water uh, kind of washing down the mountain. Um, so yeah, concerns when we get power back, when we get cell service back. An old gentleman who I spoke with that owns a gas station said they were closed on Thursday. They were obviously closed today and he said they may be closed on Saturday maybe even Sunday because the employees that he has that works here are students at App State and Boone. And right now they just cannot get anywhere in Blowing Rock. Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.